Beats to the Beats 5 40 producers 20 cities All over the country LA, Philly, Houston Miami San Francisco Chicago, Atlanta Wisconsin Minneapolis Boston, Beats to the Beats is our year long journey to our finals You know we bring all of our producers back from across the country to one place in NYC Webster Hall the most famous nightclub in the world for the chance to be sponsored by Monster Energy Drink and to fly down to Atlanta to be one-on-one -on -one in a studio session with shady recording artist Yellow Wolf. iStander was started as a platform for producers. Producers. Coming back from New York, I mean, all we've been doing is just what? perfecting our sound, you know, putting in practice and putting in work at the same time. Um, you know, after the iStander Beast of the Beast experience, it was, um, pushed us to, uh, to better go even ourselves. further and just better ourselves. It's a humbling experience, man, because like as a producer, you're always behind the scenes. It's hard for you to get that type of love from a crowd. You know, the artists always get the the fame and the love. Like when you get that type of, that type of support, like it really just makes you want to go to the studio and just improve yourself. Work, man. It's all about. It was great being in the studio, seeing all the platinum plaques on the wall from Outkast to Ludacris, Young Jeezy, and then seeing. You know, the new era of music, you know, Double XL Freshman, Yellow Wolf in the studio with the winner of our Beasts of the Beats 5 event. You know, these are the new beasts. You know, Monster presented this event and they've unleashed new beasts amongst the, amongst the industry. Make some motherfucking noise for the mechanics. Yeah. These young bucks, 17, 18 years old. Now they have made it to Atlanta, Georgia. We at Patchwork Studios, drinking a shit ton of Monster. I'm crunk. We're going to get to this beat plan and song writing see what we come up with show these young bucks how to do it i was uh i was very excited to see that yellow wolf was really digging these tracks he was he was sitting and i saw him he had his, his pen and he was writing two pages of lyrics and, and and he was interacting with the producers yellow wolf could very well have been saying i'm a major artist you know, i don't need to work on any new producers i'm working with jim johnson i'm working with uh, justice league chemistry's super important. In this case, you know, the mechanics made it through the ranks. They afforded themselves the opportunity to be in here, so this is a particular situation. Usually I'll, I'll get in the studio with uh, producers that I have spent 10 years or more with, you know. What did Yellow Wolf do? He brought them in, he made them feel comfortable, he made them uh, accepted their opinions, he encouraged them to make change, he encouraged them to do different things, put drops in, etc. It was good to see these young dudes really kind of pay attention, learn, listen, observe, and um, just kind of soak in the, the just the opportunity in general. Yella put his passion on, onto onto the uh, tracks, and he was in, into the music. I mean, we heard the same beat for at least uh, an hour and a half, two hours, because we loved it. His track selection was very interesting. One of the tracks we knew we that that was the gut feeling we had. But then the second one, with Hammer Time record, we really didn't expect that. Yeah, you know. But this man went crazy. So, you know, what we're really hoping is this record makes an impact and changes some people's lives and comes out. And uh, the mechanics, you know, will only rise from there. You know, it's just the beginning of our journey as producers. I'll tell you right now, the feeling is exactly what you might think it is. Like, to when somebody like that, that caliber of an artist walks into a studio and, you know, kind of shakes you a little bit because you're used to making beats at your crib or wherever you make beats and then boom, big time artist comes through so the hard work pays off, man. Just wrapped up the session with the mechanics here at Patchwork. Ritz came through. Killed it. <laughs> uh, uh, we went through some beats. I laid one record, got an idea started, and then you know, as it goes in sessions, I was like, I play some more beats, and then we got inspired to do another record. So we got, got a verse and a hook down on one potential record, and then we did another record called Hammer Time. What you say? That's dope. We're thinking I stand up producers, we're thinking monster energy drinks, we're thinking patchwork studios. 
Check out these young producers, the mechanics, and the new record that we got coming called Hammer Time. Yes, and sir. it is Hammer Time. We'll holler at you. Peace.